Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Comic Books NYC. Uh, I just got a uh, comic book haul that I'm catching up on here. These are books that um, that I've picked up in the last probably several months, maybe even up to four months in some cases. Uh, maybe some like some maybe a month ago, some maybe two months ago, some maybe four months ago, and I just have not had a chance to sort of um, gather up these books and show them. I did a, you know, I did a TMNT haul recently. I did a, um, I did a Batman haul for Batman day recently. So I took care of a lot of, uh, newer pickups in those videos, but there are books that didn't quite fit into those categories. Um, so that's the haul that I am doing here today. Uh, and then I'm also, just acknowledging the fact that that uh, I've been on YouTube two years as of tomorrow, technically, not as of today. So um, technically, the the YouTube anniversary uh, is tomorrow, not today. Actually, I looked at the dates and everything, um, but uh, I just wanted to acknowledge that because I don't think I'm going to be able to actually uh, do content tomorrow, or, or you know, do a live stream or anything tomorrow to you know, acknowledge it officially tomorrow. So I just wanted to tack it on to this video here, <laughs> uh, cheating a little bit. Um, but uh, before I get started showing some books, uh, let me say a quick hello to some folks here in the chat. We had uh, Jambo and Steve Whiting were in here, but I think YouTube deleted their comments because uh, they were too early. So uh, what's up to you guys? Uh, JB Discovery Bay, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, White Whale, Alec, thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, it's yeah. You know, I don't even really know what to what 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 I'm being congratulated for. <laughs> I lasted two years. Let's 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 phrase it that way. Um, JP, uh, because it's technically tomorrow is the um, the anniversary, like I said earlier, and uh, I just I'm not going to be available tomorrow, so. Uh, what's up, Gorilla Todd? Good to see you, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm going to get into what I'm showing in a bit. Uh, let's see. Everybody in here is chatting with each other. Uh, Meta Rob, Roger. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, appreciate all your support uh, as usual. Uh, I'll, I'll hook you up with that wrench, Todd, uh, after the fact. Uh, <laughs> I almost never see the actual chat in YouTube anymore, so... Uh, my chances of adding new admins are very, very minimal. Uh, so I will try and remember that and do that for you after the fact, because you're definitely a wrench. Uh, Ruben Nieves, what is up? Uh, we got JB back in here. I think Steve Whiting's back in here. Or maybe that's Geek Steve. I'm not sure which Steve that is. Uh, it just says Steve. Uh, so if it's Geeks, what's up? If it's Steve Whiting, what's up? Uh, right? Yeah, exactly. Not everybody sticks with it. Um, I lasted two years. That's, uh, that's how long I have, you know, that's where the counter's at. What's up? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Yo, what's up, Hack? Uh, good to see you, Hack. Uh, thanks for stopping in, brother. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much it as far as the, uh, the, the intro here, the, the monologue. Let's get right into some comic books. Um, like I said, these books have been picked up like anywhere between a month ago to four months ago. So I don't remember exactly when I picked these books up, but they have been put, picked up over the last several months. Um, there are some trades here and, uh, and a hardcover as well. So I'm gonna get those out of the way and then I'll show you just a few books. It's not a ton. I don't expect this to be a super long video, uh, but starting with the trades, I, I, I've been on a, uh, uh, I guess like a Jonathan Hickman kick, you know, between reading East of West for JP's Indie Show, uh, really enjoying House of X, Powers of Ten, and everything he set up in the X-Men universe. And I've been continuing to read, you know, a lot of those books, not all of them, but a lot of them like X-Men, Marauders, X-Force. Um, have not yet div dove into any of this new Ten of Swords, X of Swords stuff, but, you know, I, I need a little bit of a break before I read that. Um, but, uh, that said, I picked up some more Hickman related stuff, starting with this. Uh, this is the, the Ultimates, volume number one, uh, collects Ultimate Comics, uh, Ultimates, 
number one through six, written by Jonathan Hickman, of course, and uh, illustrated by Isad Ribic, fantastic artist, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Um, which so I wanted to have wanted to check this out. Um, I could have just you know probably checked it out on the Marvel Unlimited app or something, but you know what, Isad Ribic's work from an art standpoint is just really, really something else to behold. So I wanted to flip through some real pages um, on this one. So picked up volume one of the Ultimates, uh, picked up volume two of the Ultimates as well. This one has like split artist duties between um, Isad Ribic and Luke Ross and maybe even one other artist, um, uh, Sam Humphreys, Isad Ribic, Luke Ross, um, Oh, even Butch Geis is involved here, Leonard Kirk. Um, so definitely some other artists involved here um, in the uh, in the volume two. This collects uh, Ultimates number seven through twelve, uh, written by Hickman and Sam Humphreys, and illustrated by Isad Ribic and Luke Ross. So yeah, volume one and two of the Ultimates. Uh, BTC Moon Guy says uh, great art and comics. Um, uh, Gorilla Tots' says, art is more visceral on paper. I definitely agree with that. It's fun to read digitally on the iPad and kind of have like a movie experience, but it's a different experience. Like, you know, um, it's just a different experience flipping pages. And uh, congrats by uh, on the 400 subs, by the way. Just saw that in the chat here. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, make sure you go sub up Gorilla Todd. Comics, if you haven't subbed, I think I'm at like 800 80 something or whatever. Uh, it's funny because I checked, I looked back to like a year ago and what I was doing on YouTube for around my one year anniversary. So I had just hit 500 subs or so. Uh, and I, I had just recently launched like a couple weeks before that, the, the loot, the road to 500 loose change challenge, which is like one of the more popular contests that I've ever done where people had to like, gather up their loose change and see what kind of comic books that they could get with that or what they would do with it. Uh, and then they also had to guess the amount of change in my bag or, or whatever. Carolina Chris, uh, tw uh, 26 ended up winning, getting the closest number. And then he used the, uh, the prize winnings to AOK -okay comic man, Andy. So we teamed up for that to, to AOK -okay comic man, Andy, which was awesome. And then uh, D Runk won the randomizer. So I sent him his AOK. -okay, um, uh, after he won. So that was, that was fun, man. Uh, that was like a year ago. So, um, I probably haven't got done as much channel growth, if you will, in my second year than my first year. Uh, I don't know if there's really any specific reason for that. Uh, I definitely did focus, like consciously choose to focus more on artwork on my channel, original art hour and, and everything like that. Uh, as opposed to more comic book or comic book call driven content uh, the first year. Uh, so maybe there, maybe that has something to do with it. I don't really know, but I'm just, you know, I'm just having fun uh, making the content and everything. I didn't mean to cut off the hole and do a side, side, uh, side story here, but uh, the fact that you hit your milestone today makes me happy. Uh, Todd. So congrats on that. Uh, yo, Bueller's, uh, good to see you, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, I just watched your Coffee and Comics video uh, with your guest replacement for Bob this week, uh, Dad Bod Shenanigans. That was an interesting episode with a with a different guest and everything. I hope Bob comes back soon, though, so I hope Bob's all right. Uh, Spidey Fan, yeah, so Spidey Fan was teasing me about missing the Midtown hat uh, in a comment in another video, and I was like, I'll bring the Midtown hat back soon. So here it is, man. Um, who else is in here? Oh, we got NC Slapjacks. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Um, glad to be done with two years and, you know, uh, tackling year three now. Uh, at least starting Wednesday will be year three. Tomorrow's my official two-year uh, anniversary of my first video. Uh, Tricky Traps are in the house. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in here. Appreciate you. Uh, Alex, the comic quarter. Good to see you, brother. Thank you. He says congrats on two years. Another awesome, awesome community member. Uh, oh, Spidey fan was like a moron knock on the Lakers. Boom. So it's not, it's not very far away. Spidey fan. I got it. So anyway, let's get back to the hall. I had ultimate comics, uh, ultimate comics written by Jonathan Hickman volumes one and two, uh, pretty sweet. 
Uh, can't wait to get into that. I actually have not read that run, so I'm very excited. This is a run I have read, uh, Jonathan Hick Hickman's Avengers. This is the volume one. So this collects um, Avengers 1 through 5, New Avengers 1 through 6, and Astonishing Tales, Mojo World, numbers 1 through 6, written by Jonathan Hickman, uh, illustrated by Jerome Opeña. Love Opeña's work. Uh, Adam Kuber, Steve Epting, and Nick Patara. So uh, I actually have read uh, Hickman's Avengers run. I read it all on Marvel Unlimited. Um, but uh, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted something tangible for the shelf uh, for this. So I just decided to grab that. Um, let's see. Gorilla Todd says good ideas. He's going to do a big giveaway at 500. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, oh dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. I loved having you on the show, dude. Uh, definitely loved having you on looking forward to doing more, uh, of those shows and having more people on at the same time. That'll be fun. Yo, John, good to see you, brother. Appreciate that. Yeah. Two years, right? Time flies. Uh, when, when having fun, I suppose. Um, let's see. Alex says, Ultimates are incredible. Hickman's Fantastic Four. I love his Fantastic Four. So I already have his Fantastic Four collected uh, in trades. Uh, and I've read that run. I read the Avengers run digital. So I would like to just have the hard copies on the shelf. So I started with that volume one. I don't know if I'll get volume two right away or whatever. Uh, and then these ultimates are pretty cool. I haven't actually give, dove into those too far yet. Uh, yo, Gomez, Broski, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in, brother. Uh, just showing some books that I haven't had a chance to get around to. And, uh, you know, briefly acknowledging the fact that I've been doing this t channel for two years uh as of tomorrow so that should be uh so that's a cool milestone for me uh this i picked up this is secret okay so this is this is an image comics title that i wasn't really familiar with uh it's kind of like getting deeper into jonathan hickman's um you know his work i guess because it's not a book i've heard a lot of people talk about but it is a independent title called secret that he wrote and it that uh, is illustrated by Let's see, Ryan Bodenheim. So there's the team right there. It's called Secret. Don't know much about it. Just the fact that uh, it came out in uh, it came out in 2014, um, and uh, you know, I don't think it's really something a lot of people have talked about or have covered or have read. I haven't found a ton of information on it. I don't know a lot about the characters. So it's a it's another uh, independent title or uh, property. Uh, distributed by Image that, that Hickman, Hickman is involved with. Obviously, I've been reading East of West um, on JP's show. Uh, and um, uh, I know he put out another uh, creator-owned book recently. I, the name is escaping me, but I did buy like three variants of it or whatever. Uh, it was another Image book. Um, but anyway, Secret by John Hickman. Uh, curious to see what that's about. Don't know how soon I'm going to be able to actually get into it. Uh, thanks, Gomez. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, all right. So, and then I got one hardcover, and then we'll get into the to the floppy comic books. Uh, this is Superman, Man of Steel, volume number one. Um, John Byrne. Uh, I picked this up because Unruly Simeon was like, this is a must buy. Uh, and other people who have read this run, like Super Rust 9000, other big Superman guys, and I've never really read this run in full. I've checked out uh, checked out, you know, his Superman number one issue before from the John Byrne run. Uh, but outside of that, I don't, I haven't really done a deep dive on this run. We take a dust jacket off. I mean, it's a cool dust jacket, but you also got pretty awesome soups wrap around. Uh, there's the spine or whatever. Uh, pretty cool. You got, you got interior splash stuff going on here. You got a lot of extras in the back. Uh, but anyway, this collects uh, this collects Superman, uh, The Man of Steel, number one through six, Superman one through four, Action Comics 584 to 587, Adventures of Superman 424 to 428, and uh, Profiles from Who's Who Update 87. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, hold on. I think I got somebody. I got literally have somebody at the door. Be right back.
All right, sorry about that. But it uh, looks like I actually got a package here from Tacoma. So I don't, I don't know what this is about. I'm going to have to hit him up uh, and see what that's about. I don't know if he wants me to open it right now. Well, he doesn't know I'm on right now because I don't see him in the chat. But I don't know what that one's about. So I'm going to have to because I don't remember buying anything from him. So uh, maybe it's something we talked about a while ago and uh, I forgot about. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, very, uh, that's very possible. So, uh, cause I forget about stuff all the time. So, uh, thanks in advance to coma. Cause it looks like he sent me something, uh, and I wasn't expecting it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it. That's it. Pretty much it for the trades guys and the hardcovers. L definitely looking forward to reading that, uh, that, uh, John Burns Superman omnibus. I mean, it's, I don't know if I, I mean, they call it an omnibus, but like, it's not really an omnibus. It's, you know, it's like a pretty large hardcover, I guess. But anyway, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, a little, little quick break. Uh, sorry about that. A little quick interruption. Uh, what's up, Super S 9000 is in the house. Good to see you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, uh, I think Super Rust 9000 is probably, uh, you know, one of the people that encouraged me to read that, uh, frankly. But uh, anyway, let's get into some comic books uh, because there are some floppy comic books sitting here on my desk that I haven't had a chance to show. Um, so these two I actually did show um, on the contest entry video I did for Tim the Comic Collector's 1000. Uh, yo, what's up, Warlord? Uh, but I'm going to show them again just because uh, they should be in a haul video. So this is a uh, firepower issue number one and two. This is that new Robert Kirkman series on image comics have not had a chance to uh, dig into these and read yet, but uh, I am looking forward to doing that uh, at some point. Uh, Super Russ talking about the John Byrne Superman says definitely it's a great read. Uh, so yeah, uh, Firepower 1 and 2, uh, some uh, Robert Kirkman independent image comics uh, goodness. Uh, yo, what's what's going on? Flash Ray videos, thank you, appreciate that. Uh, and William Smallwood, thank you, good to see you. Uh, Gomez says it's a great story thus far. I think he's talking about Firepower. Flash Ray is also talking about Firepower, awesome. Cool. Good to hear that. A uh, couple copies of Venom 27. Th this is like this. This just came from like a my comic shop order or whatever. It's near mint. I don't even know what's happening with some of these Venom books anymore. I have to check. Like, I just have to ask somebody at this point to tell me what's going on because I don't know which one is hot or which one I should be selling or which one I should be slabbing or whatever. This is another copy of Venom 27. This is the Peach Momoko. I think it was Frankie's Comics or maybe it was one of the other stores. Let me, uh, let me pull this up. Uh, so I picked this up originally to flip it because it was a new Venom book uh, that was going to get hot and it was Peach Momoko, who's hot, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it is Frankie's Comics and Golden Apple, so it's exclusive to both of them. Um, so, you know, near mint copy of uh, Venom 27, Peach Momoko variant of Null. Not a big uh, Momoko collector, per se, so my first inclination was to pick this up, uh, get it quick, and flip it. Uh, but it took like six to eight weeks after I ordered it. Like, literally, Venom 27 was old news by the time this actually showed up. Uh, or at least in my head, it's old news by the time it showed up. So uh, I may I may do this as a giveaway. Uh, not Maybe not in this stream. Well, maybe I will do it on this stream. Who knows? We'll see. Depends on how long it goes. Uh, but I might do this as a giveaway sometime next week uh, for another show idea, plus some other books. Um, what's funny is they threw in a free comic, maybe because it took forever. I don't know. And the free comic that they threw in was the freaking Spider-Man Spider free comic book day from last year of, you know, uh, the last thing I need is another copy of this book. I guess it's cool to have another copy of this book because I have the cover, like the original cover art uh, from Ryan Stegman. Uh, but I've already pretty much have as many copies of this book as I would ever need. So it's kind of funny that they just sent me this one. 
but hey, whatever, another copy of this book uh, for uh, the collection. So this next book, uh, I'm not even sure, this is Prince Vandal number five uh, on Triumphant Comics. I'm not a huge, uh, if you ask me to explain what this is, I wouldn't have a lot of information. It's an independent series. This was another free book that was thrown in to an order of something else by somebody else. I think this was Anthony's, uh, Anthony Snyder, or Anthony's comic book art. Uh, my buddy Geeks sent me an original art AOK -okay that he bought from Anthony and so he shipped it directly to me and then this extra comic uh, was thrown in there for free. Um, yo, what's up Burke in the house? Good to see you brother, appreciate you. Um, yeah, this year's free comic book day is probably a more looked for book because it's like a debated, you know, debated key or something. I don't know. Uh, or it was supposed to be a key and then it didn't come out on time. Therefore, it's not a key tech actually, but but CDC retroactively is saying it's a key. Whatever. I don't I don't know. Uh, I can't explain it, uh, that whole situation. Um, uh, I'm not the right guy to to do so. But uh, anyway, next book, a uh, couple couple issues, a couple copies of this. This is Crossfire uh, issue number twelve. So I already had this in the PC, but I, I just I just picked up a few more copies of it on the cheap. Like this one's like mid grade. This one's like maybe a VF. Uh, both better condition than the copy I already had. So I think I have like three copies of this book now. Uh, but anyway, it's a pretty famous uh, Dave Stevens uh, cover of Marilyn Monroe. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a category I collect is Marilyn Monroe stuff. Um, plus, this is just a fantastic Dave Stevens cover. Um, I also, if you, if you follow my show Original Art Hour, uh, you might know that I picked up the original art to the centerfold of this. So it's a double page spread centerfold uh, done by artist Dan Spiegel uh, that basically tells the biographical story of Marilyn Monroe on two pages, like everything from her childhood to her passing, all in a double page spread is the centerfold of this issue. So uh, I actually uh, picked up the original art for the, for the, for that, which was pretty cool. But uh, wanted to get a couple uh, better copies than I had anyway, not pristine near mint copies, but better copies than I had uh, added into the collection. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Gomez and Gorilla's logos are identical. But let's see that. Let's let's do a little test. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Um, well, there's some similarities. I wouldn't say that they're exactly the same. Yo, what's going on? House Till the End is in here. Good to see you guys all coming out. I really appreciate it. Um, just trying to get through this haul. Yo, Los, what's going on? Uh, appreciate that, brother. Uh, thanks for uh, being a supporter and a collaborator of mine in this community. Uh, definitely appreciate you. Um, so yeah, man, two, uh, two Dave Stevens, uh, Maryland covers right there, there crossfire number 12. Then we had another Maryland, uh, pickup related pickup. I did actually, I think I posted this to Instagram, but I never showed this on YouTube. This is a, um, graphic novel adaptation of Clive Barker's son of celluloid novel. Uh, it's like a horror kind of, you know, uh, uh genre novelist, uh, and anyway, it's uh, Son of Celluloid. Uh, it's just a fantastic uh, painted Marilyn Monroe cover uh, right here um, by Les Edwards. Um, I just think that that's badass. Really, really, really dig that. So Son of Celluloid, Clive Barker. This is a graphic novel adaptation uh, done by Steve Niles, illustrated by Les Edwards, and originally written in uh, non-comic book form by Clive Barker. So. Uh, pretty sweet uh, Marilyn related pickup right there. Love that cover. Um, this next book, this is Cerebus issue number 55. Love this cover. This is so badass. Um, clearly it's a, like a Wolverine homage. Uh, the name of this character is actually Wolver Roach, which is pretty hilarious. Now I, I don't collect Cerebus. It's not really like a title that I go after, like, and I'm looking for or whatever. I just, just, this cover's awesome. I didn't pay for this. This was given to me uh, as an extra or bonus when I bought um, my Jim Lee uh, Batman 608 second print uh, slab from DS. 
So DS Comics um, threw this in as an extra because he knew I dug it and I, I was basically helping him sort through a collection he was buying to tell him what moderns like were relevant or whatever, at least based on the knowledge I have and the research I could get for him on the fly as we were looking at the collection. But uh, he hooked me up with a good deal on that Batman book and then threw in this one, which was in the collection, I think. I think it was in that collection. And then and then um, he pulled it out for me and uh, sent it to me. But yeah, dude, <laughs> Wolver Roach, dude, it is freaking hilarious. Um, it is pretty dope, right? Look at that. It's like a badass, you know, like Wolverine. It's like Wolverine with a stogie, but it's technically Wolver Roach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, early service did have some nice covers. So I love this cover. Pretty, pretty damn awesome. It is definitely benefiting from like Mylar magic, I guess, because it's 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 not like in the greatest condition. It's got it's got issues. It's, and it's a black cover, but hey, look, it, pre it presents pretty decently in this Mylar. Uh, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's just this is a PC book, like an, you know, an AOK -OK from DS. So um, uh, you know, definitely this book isn't going anywhere. Uh, and it's just going to stay in the collection. So uh, pretty cool right there. Cerebus issue number 55. Cerebus 55. All right, next book. We got a couple Golden Age. Got a couple Golden Age books in here. Uh, this one is Battlefront issue number 41, Atlas Comics. This is a category that I've been getting into more recently, uh, and I've been picking up a lot of these Battlefront titles. Uh, this is a cover. This cover was done by Joe Manili. Anyway, it's Battlefront issue number 41. This might be like a very good VG range copy, um, but I really, really like that Joe Manili cover. Uh, here, let me uh, see if we can get that. Uh, yeah, see that? So yeah, pretty awesome. Um, you know, mid fifty, you know, early to mid 50s Atlas uh, Golden Age war book right there battlefront issue number 41 so pretty happy with that um i think i might have like i don't know like seven or eight of these battlefront title books at this point i I'm, I, I haven't been keeping uh as uh comprehensive as a list as i probably should have but off the top of my head i think i might have seven or eight of these battlefront um uh covers so far a couple you know, uh, a couple uh, Russ Heaths, uh, a couple Manili's, uh, a couple, I think maybe one was a Carl Burgos, uh, one was a Joe Robinson or whatever, but this is another Manili right here. So Battlefront, uh, issue number 41, happy with that uh, Golden Age pickup. Uh, and then another Golden Age pickup, uh, this is Super Comics number 82. Uh, this is, I think this might only be the second issue of Super Comics that I've ever found or I've ever picked up. Uh, and, you know, Dick Tracy is the reason to get into these these uh, old school super comics. This is Dell, Dell uh, Publications, of course, Dell. Uh, this is Super Comics issue number 82. And I just dig that uh, Dick Tracy cover right there. You got the gun, uh, you got guns on the table. Uh, it's just a badass uh, back room gangster scene right there. Um, and, uh, this one's in, this one's in decent shape, you know, this might also be kind of in that VG, VG plus, uh, range, Super Comics number 82. So that's another Golden Age, uh, book in this haul. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, dude, I love this one. I don't know, I, I don't know if he's talking about the Battlefront or the, or the Dick Tracy, but I really like this Dick Tracy Super Comics quite a bit. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yo, Barbarian Kung Fu in the house. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Um, uh, thanks for stopping by. I think you have, you've got an auction pretty soon or something or a sale. Uh, so I, I understand if you got to get going pretty soon. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. It's awesome hanging out with you in uh, Chicago at C2E2 along with everybody else. Um, and uh, hopefully we get to do that soon again at some point, someday. Uh, I did hear that LA Comic Con is proceeding with their event uh, for this December uh, with a lot of like stipulations and changes and stuff. But Hey, look, more power to them. It looks like, um, you know, some sort of version of an event is going to take place at LA comic con in December. I just recently went to the comic art con in New Jersey a um, couple weekends ago uh, with Tony NY junior. That was a lot of fun, but that was of course a much smaller event, much more niche 
and you know small room, small amount of de- uh, vendors, that kind of thing, and focused on comic art. LA Comic Con in December is going to be they're going to be they're, they're, they've they've uh, they've rented out the entire uh, Los Angeles Convention Center like um, and are they're like going to spread out all the different you know areas of the con and everything like that. So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hugs for everybody. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, Super Comics. Uh, 82, uh, 82 and Battlefront 41. These are the Golden Age books for this haul. Two more books in this haul, guys, so just bear with me real quick, and I'll do a quick you know, speed speed recap or whatever. Um, this is a key issue that I've been looking for for a while, and I was finally able to pick it up and fa- f- find it uh, because of another YouTuber, Vin Crew. So he, he holds these sales on his YouTube channel, and I think Barbarian Kung Fu has even... Um, has taken advantage of his sales uh, at, at times in the past. But Vin Crew, uh, he does these sales on his YouTube channel where he basically uploads a video and be like, everything in this video is for sale, first to claim or first to hit me on Instagram or whatever it is, uh, and we'll work it out. Um, and he calls them like um, uh, support a comic addict sale or something like that um, because he uses all the proceeds from those sales to get other books and then he shows you what books he got with it, which is also pretty cool. So uh, check out Vin Cruz's channel if you're not familiar with him. But anyway, uh, he wanted to move this key issue. This is an issue that I've been looking for. He gave me a great deal on it, great price. This is in great condition. I think with a clean impress, this is in the high nines, maybe you know, maybe nine four. Uh, but anyway, this is Star Wars: Heir to the Empire, issue number one. The first appearance of Thrawn. Admiral Thrawn and the first appearance of Mara Jade, which is uh, Luke Skywalker's Luke Skywalker's w- wife in um, like the extended non-canon uh, Star Wars expanded universe. But uh, more importantly, Admiral Thrawn, who is part of the published official Star Wars canon, uh, makes his first appearance appearance here and he's an awesome character that i'm a fan of so i'm pretty happy to to uh have been able to add that star wars air the empire number one thank you hack uh jp yeah jp i think i mentioned i may have picked this up jp he's looking for that book i think um let's see uh oh yeah barbarian said he got some sweet books from him also i also got the um that maryland book or whatever um this one this one i got from bin crew as well so in, in his last sale. So uh, definitely took advantage of uh, the sales that Bing Crew posts up from time to time uh, and uh, capitalize if it's something I'm looking for. So uh, there you go, man. So that is Star Wars Heir to the Empire number one, first appearance of uh, Ed Macron, first appearance of Mara Jade. So uh, if you took the time to read the description of the video before watching uh, on the rewind or before joining the live stream, I'm not sure who even would ever do that, frankly, but I do actually take the time to write up a description. And in the description, I said that I would be one of the books in the hall was going to be a yellow label signature series slab. Um, So that is what I'm going to get to next. And that is going to be the last book of the hall. Uh, But the last uh, book of the hall is a pretty sweet one. Um, A couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I'm not sure. I, I was able to send my, old copy of this book and you know i found this book in the wild i had it sent to cgc myself uh, came back etc it was a cgc 6.0 of this comic uh and i was able to gift it to a buddy of mine in the community kachoon uh as part of an aok that i sent to kachoon and and his uh wife delphia uh great guy great people love those guys um super happy to have been able to hook them up but I also hooked myself up by upgrading this particular comic to uh, a nicer condition um, and also a signed uh, copy. So the book that I'm talking about, of course, is X-Men number 50. uh, And I was able to upgrade from a 6.0 CGC to a uh, 7.0 CBCS with a, it was a witness signature from Jim Starenko. Uh, this is not in their new fancy case. I would like to get it reholdered because I'm not a big fan of these older CBCS cases where it looks like you can just like, you know, hit two buttons and like you're like unslab pretty much. 
but anyway, uh, 7.0 off-white pages, uh, page quality upgrade for me as well. My 6.0 copy was uh, off, uh, creamed off-white, I think. So 7.0 off-white pages signed by Starenko with his incredible, uh, legendary at this point, uh, signature right on the X-Men logo that he designed. And, of course, this is the first Polaris, second Lorna Dane, daughter of Magneto. Uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I mean, this is a classic. Uh, I can't not have this book in the PC at all, you know what I mean? And I've always wanted to sign copies. So took that took that moment to both upgrade for myself and then, you know, pass along the comic karma, if you will, to uh, Kachung. And because uh, it was one of his uh, X-Men Grails, uh, X-Men 50. So I was able to hook him up with my other cop, with my lower copy uh, when I when I. Uh, made this upgrade. So uh, what's going on, Don Davis? Good to see you. Oh, great pick, uh, great profile pick with Jim Lee there, I see. Um, uh, was that from, the, uh, which signing was that from? <laughs> Probably was, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was from C2E2. That would have been cool because I was at that signing, uh, if it was. Um, the, that was a good, that was a fun time. D. Runk and I um, went to that Jim Lee signing at C2E2. Uh, if it wasn't, Maybe uh, it wasn't. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, right. Like, and I was on Los's show where he got let down by a incorrect, quote unquote, incorrect Sterenko signature. Sorry, Los. I don't know if you're still hanging out here. I don't know how much that wound is still salty or whatever. But um, uh, it is the first new X Men logo. Yeah. So which which Sterenko designed. So there you go. There it is. There's that logo. Uh, with the Starenko SIG on top of it. So pretty happy to uh, upgrade this one. So it was C2E2. So I, I was at that signing, man. That's cool, man. Good, good. good man. I don't have the book I had Jim sign like right next to me or anything, but uh, I, I was happy, pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, and just, you know, meeting him in general was cool. Uh, thank you, John. Appreciate that. What's going on? Southern Comic Geek in the house. Uh, good to see you as well. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Um, so yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Let me do the quick, uh, speed recap. You got the X-Men 50 signed by Starenko, 7-0, uh, off-white CBCS. You got the Star Wars, uh, Heir to the Empire, number one, first appearance of Thrawn and, uh, Mar Jade. You have, uh, two Golden Age books. You have a Super Comics 1982, Badass, Dick Tracy, Gangster action. We got the uh, Battlefront issue number 41, Atlas Comics Golden Age War Book uh, Glory right here with a Joe Manili cover. Love that one. Uh, you got this Cerebus issue number 55, Wolver Roach cover that uh, that uh, DS Comics uh, hit me up uh, with as a, as, a, as a bonus book. Shout out to you, DS. Appreciate that. Um, gift um, that you sent me. Love that. Really cool. Um, comics Quest says Starenko and Adams equals the masters. They are definitely masters. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, pick this up from Bin Crew as well, along with the, the Star Wars Heir to the Empire. Number one, this is the graphic novel adaptation of Clyde Barker's Son of Celluloid and just a badass Marilyn cover that I, that I dig. Um, yeah, I would agree with that, Don. He was cool, but I the facilitators running it weren't the best. Uh, I would agree with that. Not to get too sidetracked on a story on that. Uh, let's see. Then I picked up also two additional copies of this uh, uh, Maryland cover by Dave Stevens, Crossfire number 12, uh, just to get some better condition copies of this in the collection compared to what I had. So I had some beaters. Um Firepower number one and two, Robert Kirkman, uh, Venom 27, two different copies, one Peach Momoko, one A cover, both near mint. Uh, they threw in the, uh, yet another copy of this, probably had more copies of this than any single other person on the planet because uh, of owning the original art, uh, so that's just a thing. And another bonus book, uh, Prince Vandal number five. This was a bonus that Anthony Snyder threw into a uh, art order that Geeks sent to me. Uh, so those were all the floppy books. And then I also shared some trades, uh, Secret from Jonathan Hickman, independent book on image, Ultimates from Jonathan Hickman, volume one and two. 
Super Avengers from Jonathan Hickman, volume number one. And Superman, Man of Steel, John Byrne, Omnibus. So that's pretty much the haul, guys. Um, I appreciate 20, 25-ish people showing up uh, at one point here live in the chat. This was pretty early. Uh, didn't necessarily want this to be a 45-minute video, but looks like that's where we're at. Um, and uh, before I end the stream, just want to say thank you to everybody who's watched a video, left a comment, left a thumbs up, left a thumbs down, subscribed, unsubscribed, participated in one of my contests or giveaways, uh, you know, uh, sold with me on an auction, allowed me to join your channel for an auction, collaborated with me on YouTube, whether it's a show I host or co-host or somebody else's show that I've got an invite to. It's just a whole, it's just a lot, uh, a lot of fun that has happened in the last two years here on this platform and also on Instagram. So I just wanted to acknowledge that and say thank you everybody, uh, for the support and, uh, I will, uh, you know, uh, hopefully keep this train rolling. Uh, what's up, Cat Comics? Uh, no worries, dude. Uh, keep driving, Ruben. Concentrate on the road. House till the end. Uh, later, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, John's like, encourage you to show my, his channel, I think. Maybe it was White Whale's channel. I don't remember whose channel it was. Um, exactly. But those guys, uh, those guys turned me into a face channel. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> um, thanks Gomez. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, Tad saying he's working in the backyard. No worries. Catch the rewind, man. Uh, it was a pretty cool haul. Um, yeah. Thank you. Comic quest. Appreciate it. It's a decent haul this time. Uh, I haven't really been buying a lot of books. Uh, cause like I said, a lot of these books, uh, appreciate that Don. Thank you for the sub. Um, thanks barbarian. Uh, I, I, you know, but like I said earlier, hanging out with you and meeting you was definitely a highlight, um, uh, you know, uh, in the last couple of years, uh, C2E2 in general uh, was a blast. Um, thank you, Hack. Uh, thank you, Russ. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Um, I do have a episode of Original Art Hour scheduled for next Thursday now. Uh, it's going to be, guest is going to be C. C Woodard 19, so it's going to be awesome to have C. Woodard. Uh, on the on the art show, sharing a lot of his art. He's got some dope art, so that'll be fun. And then I might have some other shows planned for Thursday through Sunday of next week. Uh, so that 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 episode of Original Art Hour is going to be Thursday. Uh, but I might do other shows both Friday of next week, Saturday, and Sunday of next week because you know why? That was what uh, New York Comic Con was supposed to be. So next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was supposed to be New York Comic Con 2020. Uh, sadly, with the state of the world, there is no New York Comic Con 2020, but uh, like no in-person one anyway. I'm not sure what they're doing digitally, and I'm not really that interested in what they're doing digitally, frankly. Um, but I'm going to make the best of it. Uh, I'm going to try to have some fun at some shops or, you know, visit some local businesses and try to give them my business. If it makes sense, uh, I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to buy stuff I don't want or don't need, but I'm going to try to support some local businesses instead um, during that time. And I'm also going to do shows on YouTube. Uh, maybe I'm going to call, maybe I'll call it CBNYCC 2020. So it's going to be instead of NYCC, it's going to be CBNYCC 2020 next week, Thursday through Sunday. So be on the lookout for uh, some content that I have planned around that, starting with Original Art Hour on Thursday with C. Woodard 19. So that'll be fun. Uh, anyway, thanks everybody for joining me and thanks again for watching me for the last two years uh, on YouTube. I really do appreciate the support. Uh, and uh, I'll see you on the next show. Later, guys. Where do I begin? I see the hate, they don't want to see me win. Make the pies like I'm more coming in. Top down, throw the money in the wind. I don't want it all. Oh. Heard these scammer had to switch up the accounts. Moving paper, gotta call it my account. It's all in, I can have it coming now. Been through the struggle, I can see another drought. Yeah, it's not a purse, it's a merch. Six figures, what's a gold? Now it's nine or a hearse, put it work.
Used to pull up, not swerve, no time for the snakes, time to put them in the dirt, that's word. I gotta get it, it's in my DNA. You only see the highlights, don't know what it takes. Last year, stressing, got no sleep. Now I'm right between the courts, I don't know what it See the hate, they don't wanna see me win. Fake the pipes, I got more coming in. Top down, throw the money in the 